Now, listen, you guys, it seems like Nicki Minaj might actually be releasing, uh, you know, the single to Pink Friday 2 earlier than we expected. Well, at least so are people speculating on Twitter. After that entire interaction that she had with the fans last night, and she was basically talking about releasing a snippet from Pink Friday 2. And at the same time, Deji Love seems to be over Koyle Ray basically running away with the style. And Ice Spice is out here basically re-entering the Billboard 200 you guys and honestly speaking we love love to see it hello tea lovers and welcome to the tea plug i trust you guys are doing well and i trust you're doing great personally i am doing great you guys and honestly speaking i just cannot wait to just go outside and see what this new city has to offer like i told you like i literally traveled but just because i travel doesn't mean that <laughs> the tea has to stop being spilled now without further ado let us dive straight into today's tea now, so we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj. Uh, first of all, yesterday I did do a video, you guys, and I was telling you that Nicki was out here basically teasing, uh, you know, her babs, basically telling them that while she is struggling to not release any snippet from her album Pink Friday 2, it seems like she is impressed by her body of work, you guys. She cannot stop gushing over how much of a talented person she is. I did see also on Instagram where she was like, oh my God, I'm just such a talented low B. And and I mean, I cannot wait and I do do believe that, well, it's going to be fire, okay? I do believe that it's going to be fire. Uh, Nicki Minaj is known for releasing albums that are totally non-skippable. Like, you literally go through every track and you enjoy uh, literally every track on her album. So, obviously, we cannot wait to see what Pink Friday 2 has. Now, so after that entire teasing, you guys, people are saying, okay, it seems like the lead single might actually be coming sooner than we expected. And I'm just like yeah bring it on we are ready for it you guys i cannot wait so hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that do you think that Nicki Minaj's lead single might be coming out anytime soon but personally i will say that i don't think it would come out before her collaboration with drake actually comes out because i feel like that would be a, a little bit of clash in terms of like our focus do you get what i'm saying i want uh you know the drake project to drop first and then we focus on that Nicki Minaj and drake collaboration we love it we stream it we buy it and then after that um that's when i feel like she should be releasing her lead single but hey that's just my opinion because i feel like her releasing a single right now and uh you know the drake one may be coming on a a week later you you know how bob sometimes behave you guys like when she drops a new banger and you still have another banger you tend to focus on that latest banger banger i'm sorry and then you end up forgetting that well there's another more important banger that has just been released least so yeah do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that and now speaking of waiting for drake i do also know that metro booming did say that he is working on some new music with Nicki minaj so i'm just like i don't know how the timing is going to be like with all these uh you know releases and collaborations but i do feel like these guys should just release their own you know projects first and then we will wait for the queen because listen honey from september going forward it's just gonna be the focus is gonna be on pink friday too we do not want any distractions but that's just my opinion so do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that okay now the next thing that i'm gonna be talking about i'm i wouldn't say that i am surprised that dej love is feeling this kind of way because when coil ray face came out everybody was saying oh my god she sounds a lot like dej love you guys i'm not like i'm not surprised that she would feel some type of way about it because literally quail ray in my own opinion is a younger vision of dej love or i don't know i don't want to call her knock of vision but I, do you get what i'm saying it is the vibe the vibe it very much gives dej love it's just like that whole entire situation with future and designer you remember when designer came out and people started saying oh my god designer just literally you know took um features flow and style and basically reign with it i feel like this is the same situation with doge with um Dej love oh my god i keep saying doja kid with Dej love and um and coil ray i do feel like they have the same style of singing so i did see some people saying in the comment sections they were having mixed feelings about um you know coil ray's latest release as people were like oh my god she really does sound like Do like Dej love and Dej love was in the comment section you guys of the neighborhood talk and she was putting laughing emojis on those shady comments 
and things like that and obviously people are like okay clearly she does feel some type of way and so some people were basically supporting her saying that oh wow she does deserve to feel the way she feels because this girl literally stole her whole floor and ran away with it and some people were on Quayle Ray's side basically saying Dej Love went quiet for the longest of time you can't just expect that if you're not Beyonce and you're going to unannounced hiatus for years you think that you're going to come back and still find your, your fans waiting on you if there's going to be a knockoff version of you that's going to come in of course people are going to start paying attention to that so that's what other people were saying but in as far as Dej Love going into a hiatus personally I do feel like you guys a lot of things do happen in the music industry and some of it we don't even know until maybe years later some of it we don't even know why artists aren't releasing any new projects and we only find out years later you, you guys so in as far as the hiatus is concerned and, and her going quiet we don't know what was going on behind closed doors you guys so i don't know for that i will still give a grace you guys so do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that do you think that it is dejlo's fault that you know doja kid be, be, oh my god eh. Do you think that is <laughs> oh my god i'm trying to focus you guys oh my god i'm sorry you guys but like yeah um do you think that it is dej love's um fault that quayle ray basically came in and you know stole her style and basically ran with it and now people are loving her and nobody is you know exactly waiting on her to release new music um you know at all so hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about that okay St Still speaking about the rap girlies, you guys, I Spice. I Spice, now, the last time I spoke about her on this channel, I was just telling you how she was just named, uh, you know, the rookie of the year when it comes to r&b and hip-hop and it seems like a winning is always like going up 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 and up and i totally love that for her because if you didn't know you guys her ep like has re-entered the Billboard 200 you guys at number 20 and i love it i love love to see her winning like this because i do feel like she's putting out the music she's straying out of and staying out of unnecessary drama and just minding the business that that pays her which is basically you know doing her music and i love to see that for her she doesn't have to do you know the most like she says uh in her song she doesn't have to do uh you know extra just to get a little bit of attention stay up biffs and stuff like that she stays in the lane and minds her business and i love that for her so yeah do hop into the comment section and let me know what you think about i spice i did see her reposting doja cat's song now you guys do know that obviously uh, Doja Cat and, and I Spice are cool as I Spice is going to be opening for Doja Cat, okay? So thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this fun. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Please smash the subscribe button and do turn on uh, the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post, okay? If this is your second time joining us here and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Do you see the links that I will go to just to make sure I post a video even in the moments where I'm supposed to be focusing on on other things you guys i'm out here basically recording just because i don't take your subscriptions for for granted you guys i love you love you so much and i appreciate you and until my next one see you i think the next time that we're gonna be talking on this channel is gonna be tomorrow because i think this is gonna be the last day unfortunately these past two days i haven't been able to release like three videos a day but i i, I at least am trying to you know put out two videos each and every single day until my next one see you